could this be the most important Apple product launch ever? Fans of the tech giant are counting down and even queuing overnight ahead of the unveiling of the new iPhone and the rumoured iWatch. But coming soon after the iCloud scandal, this is a crucial moment for CEO Tim Cook and the firm's share price. I personally think that if there was an iWatch, we would have seen probably some footage already leaking from China because that's what had happened on the iPhone 6. I'm actually, I'm actually on the side of that there won't be an iWatch this time. I think they will postpone that because I don't think they are quite there yet. But if it comes, I think it could be a, a positive catalyst uh, over the presentation and for the share price. It's very difficult to project how the price reaction will be over these presentations. Um, but I think, I think the most, what people are, the most uh, focused on is, is the iPhone 6 engaging whether they can sell and not sell over the Christmas because we know the Christmas sales and the last quarter of the year is the most important one for Apple. So I actually think that when you get the numbers after Christmas, that's, that's an even more important event than actually the product introduction because that's where you get the hard, the hard figures on how the products are performing. So let's get technical now. Apple is currently trading just under $100. And if you're wondering how to trade Apple ahead of an event like this, here's what Peter thinks. Well, obviously, it went above 100, and then you had the iCloud scandal. We can call it that. I think it's appropriate. It went below 100 because there was the security issues. It's now trading below 100. I think going into this presentation of the new products, I think its options are worth looking at, specifically doing a straddle, so you buy a call and a put, so you actually bet on increased volatility after on the event. Because I think it's, it's very... It's, you know, when they, when they introduced the iPad, you actually saw a negative price move uh, in the share price because people were disappointed back then. And, but if, you, if they come up with a very, uh, very attractive iPhone 6, it could also go higher. So I think you should bet on a volatile move in either direction. So I think options are the best way to, to play it. And then after, what, uh, after the event has happened, of course, we'll be out with uh, our take on, on what this means for Apple. But, uh, but Prior to the event, go for go for options. It's definitely the best uh, the best uh, strategy.